hello everyone welcome uh, to my presentation i am excited and happy to talk about my paper titled self supervised learning with local contrast loss for detection and semantic segmentation we know that self supervised learning can be a great tool to train deep neural networks for transfer learning in this part i'll show how we can use local image information in self supervised learning for better representation for detection and segmentation one drawback of the self supervised learning is that they mostly focus on global image representations to clarify let's consider the feature extraction part given an image uh, let's say it has 224 times 224 dimension it is fed into a deep learning network like resnet which then downsamples the image into 7 times 7 uh, dimension uh, where each location is a 2048 dimensional feature vector then global average pooling is applied which average out the special features into one global feature most of the self supervised learning models work on this global feature representation but global features are suitable for task like image classification but sub optimal for dense task like object direction or semantic segmentation we need to use some kind of local consistency to have better pretend models for dense task There are some works that apply self supervised loss in local representations. They can be divided into two methods, pixel based and region based. Our method is mostly based on pixel based ones. Uh, examples of pixel based methods are TensorFlow, PixPro, etc. TensorFlow apply contrastive loss in the local features, and we know that to apply contrastive loss, we have to get the positive or negative corresponding pairs. for global features we can create the correspondence by augmenting the same image multiple times now the question is how to determine the corresponding pixels when we do not have any supervision we infer that we can find the correspondence from the image transformation itself for example here we augment uh, one image uh, and because the augmentation is done before the training starts we can get the corresponding pixel locations of the original image and the augmented image once we get the corresponding pixels between the two images we can apply self supervised loss between the feature of those pixels so our full framework is based on the simple idea about the correspondence here we show the full framework we have the usual global self supervised loss function which makes the augmented version of the same image to have similar features We add another loss function called local correspondence loss that makes the feature of the corresponding pixel similar. We do not need any label supervision during training; rather, we create the supervision from the data and the from the augmentation. We provide experimental results on popular detection and segmentation data set, uh, for example, on MS Coco, Pascal VOC, and Cityscape data set. Uh, here we show the results on object detection for MS Coco and Pascal VOC dataset. We outperform the previous state of the art by 1.9% on Coco and 1.4% on VOC. Uh, we also show similar performance improvement on segmentation results on VOC and Cityscapes. There are some limitations. For example, we can improve the correspondence resolution by upsampling or applying the correspondence on multiple feature pyramids. Uh, we, however, we keep them as potential feature directions. Please refer to the paper for more results and applications. Thank you.